How's, uh, how's the audio, everyone? Make sure you click share. Take a look at this. So, sorry I haven't been able to go live the whole day. We were pretty much, uh, we were hanging out at the Ellipse for the past few hours and I didn't have any service because there were so many people packed together. So, you know, the servers are kind of overrun. Uh, it's a little bit loud here, sorry. But uh, yeah, I haven't had service all day. I just got it back. We're all marching right now to the Capitol. Uh, right now, Congress is in there. I'm not too sure what's going on. I haven't been able on social media and see what's going on, but they're in there talking about the certification. Oh, here's my buddy Raheem! Raheem! Yes, I am live. Uh, hey, live. we got two lives. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got two lives. This is Raheem Kassam, editor in chief of the National Polls. One of the best conservative voices out there. How you doing, Raheem? Meet my. This is my intern right here. How you doing? This is Raheem Kassam, very big uh, meet the intern. conservative I'm live voice. as well. Where oh, you're all live. We just got service again. So, how you doing, Brendan? Uh, awesome. Nice to meet you. Hey, it was good to see you, man. Good to see you. I'm heading down to the studio now. We're gonna do the show from the studio, and then I'll be heading back up. I lost like my whole entire crowd of people, so we're just all going to the Capitol. <laughs> And All right, we'll catch up with you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there was four Black Lives Matter people total, right? Yeah. Guess who the, uh, your local media was interviewing? Oh. Yeah. Cool. I'll see you guys. That was so funny. See you guys. I'll talk to you. Yeah. What was the chances of that? Running run into... What was it? That's Raheem Kassam. Oh, okay. So I just ran into my buddy Raheem. Uh... For those of you who don't know who Raheem is, he was doing a Facebook Live too. It was like Facebook Live Inception. Uh, he is the editor-in-chief of the National Post. You should check him out. Pretty uh, pretty a good conservative outlet we got going on there. There we go. We are making our way down. I'm just going to keep this live stream going. So keep clicking shares. Share down below. There is tons of people. This is kind of more of the front of the pack. We kind of walked out in front of everyone because it was moving really slow. So we, we got ahead of the pack so we could walk a little bit faster because I was dying to move. Oh, look, if you look across the street there, see if you see across the street, a whole entire crowd there. I believe that's Constitution, right? Constitution Ave? We're on Pennsylvania. That's, that's Constitution, Constitution. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the street parallel to us also has a, is just filled with people. Um, during President's speech, he estimated 250,000 people were sitting, were there listening to his speech. I don't know how, what the total number of uh, people are here in general for this uh, March to Save America is what they're calling it. I don't know how what the total is yet. It's kind of hard for me to gauge on the ground, but uh, yeah, it's been it's been a great event. So. I haven't seen any uh, altercations myself yet. Uh, we saw oh, a lot of cops going by. We saw, we did, I was talking to it about, with Raheem about it. Um, there was four Black Lives Matter people. We got about 100,000 Trump supporters and four Black Lives Matter people. And guess who the local media was interviewing? Yeah, the Black Lives Matter people. You know, they got just, you know, your casual F Trump shirts on. So, you know, real appropriate for the media to put on, on you know. I'm sure the FCC will love that. But we're a few blocks away from the Capitol. Just wanted to make sure I gave you guys the best look, accurate look. Jerry, we're heading towards uh, the Capitol building right now. Hey, if you haven't clicked that share button yet, make sure you do that for me.
Nico, I'm curious to see what it's going to be looking like up there. Uh, you know, I kind of wish we were storming the Capitol. I kind of wish we were all going inside and walk onto the floor and actually show these people what is up. But I doubt that that's actually going to happen. Um, there's going to be, I'm sure, blockades up there once we get up to the steps. I'm curious to see what that's like, though. I wouldn't mind leading that charge if I can get a bunch of people with me inside. So uh, the president just had his speech um, at the Ellipse, uh, the president's park. And he talked about, he basically um, broke down, he, you know, his usual talking points about um, all the positives he says his administration has done. And then he really got into depth about um, various fraud allegations that he uh, mentions. And he really broke it down in each state and what they're looking at. And basically it all summed up to him saying that Mike Pence needs to uh, not certify the results, send it back to the states, let the states, these, you know, these seven swing states that are in question, recertify their results, have a 10 day audit, actually look at the evidence because we haven't actually done that yet. That hasn't been done on any, on any level yet. Um, and he thinks if they do that, he's going to win a few of those, those swing states and that will turn the, the election back to him. So it all comes down to today. Are they going to do the 10 day emergency audit or they're not? I don't know. Uh, they're in there in the, in the Capitol building now talking about it. And that's where we're all heading. We're making our, we're making the message, making sure this message is heard loud and clear. And I kind of wish we could all just, you know, storm in there, get on that floor with them and be like, Hey, this is what we want. Not just wait outside in the cold and hope for the best, take action. All right, I haven't seen any issues. I haven't seen too many anti-Trump protesters, any counter protests of any sort. I saw a few Black Lives Matter people uh, wearing lovely shirts with derogatories getting interviewed on the media because why not? We're gonna make sure we get those four people that are irrelevant to the day. But just because, just because, just because, we gotta make sure we have Black Lives Matter included in every single story. Where's our people?